All right, I've got a home hack for you today so you can do leg extensions or knee extensions at home if you can't get to the gym or you don't go to the gym or maybe your gym shut. So this allows you to do leg extensions with load. Now, we get people doing knee extensions or leg extensions with a little bit of load at home sitting in their chair, but when you need to do heaps of load, like when you're doing the gym, you need to have your foot free from the ground. So if you're short, then that's not a problem. You sit in a normal chair, if your legs are dangling in the air, that's no problems. But if they're not, and if you're six foot tall like me, then being on the ground is a bit awkward because you have to lift your hip to get off the ground. So that's no good. So I'll show you a hack for that. But just on leg extensions, now remember, we need knee extension. We need this movement here. We need it to be strong. That helps patellofemoral joint mechanism. We want that mechanism to be good and strong and smooth through that movement. So it's actually important that we do leg extensions because that's what we do when we walk, when we kick, when we go upstairs. We do knee extension or leg extension. So being strong in that movement is important. And it's not something to be afraid of when you've got patellofemoral pain. It's actually really important to try and get that movement stronger. I think too many times we spend on working on quadriceps and static work, and then we work on compound movements like single leg squats and that sort of thing, or leg pressing, but we don't work on leg extension. Now maybe some of that's a bit of a fear of what happens through that movement. Now, of course, you go too heavy on something that's acute and sore, maybe you've got some cartilage problems in there, maybe your VMO is pretty rubbish and you've got some you know, weak quads from injury, then yeah, that may be a bit of a problem. But if the load is light enough, and you can start in the sitting position and start getting some strengthening work through there, then you can progress onto the heavier stuff. Now, of course, with people, what we try and do is get them doing perhaps an eccentric work where they sit in their chair, push their leg out, try and hold it there with the isometric work, so you're in extension, using your quad, and then lowering down. Now, if you notice, though, when I'm in a chair, I sort of get to there. I'm not getting my full range, right? I'm only getting from here to there. Now, of course, granted, that's the most important part is going from zero to 30, but I want, once I want full range, I want to get down into here when I get past into 90. If I have to lift my hip all the time, that's annoying. So, the home hack for you today, and this one also allows you to go heavier past the sort of TheraBand stuff, is you need something to elevate it. Now, of course, if you're in the gym, go to the leg extension machine, all right? But if you're at home, what you need to be able to do is simply elevate your chair. Remember, if you're short, you probably need to elevate your chair. But if you're tall like me, you need to elevate your chair. Now, it needs to be something solid. Now, of course, in the clinic, we can just use our box here. We don't have a leg extension machine in this clinic, but we do have a chair and we do have a box. So I can elevate up there. And the box is big and wide enough and solid enough for me to just grab any sort of chair and pop it on there, okay? And then it's stable. Now, with my body weight on there, it's not gonna go anywhere. But what I suggest you do, have something behind you. Now this could be your kitchen table, okay? So you, you could tie the bands around the kitchen table leg, all right? Um, and this, obviously, box needs to be solid enough. I don't care what you use. Maybe it's a bit of wood, some bricks, elevate it. Could be anything, okay? Maybe you have a really tall chair, depends. But make sure that the thing behind you is solid. So that's where the table or the chair, the table leg comes into play. Now. What you'll need though, instead of weights, is bands. And remember, bands are gonna be nice and kind on your knee joint anyway. So you could start off with say something like a mini power band, which is that yellow one. And then as you get better, you can progress to something like a green. Now, what I've done is I've just looped that through the back of my table and put it under there. Now, here's your little mini hack, if you like, to make sure that this doesn't slip off your foot Put it on the front of your foot. And remember, this is just one foot at a time. Better to do single leg at a time, get good at that. Don't worry about the double leg. And then grab that band forward, flip it, and put it around. That's the hard part. Put it around the front of it. Once it's on there, then you've got your set of 10. And the, like I said, the weight of you on that is not going to move. So now your legs are free. All right? So at this point here, I can go from my 90 degrees and work on straightening that out and get my full extension, okay? And slowly down. And again, the nice thing about the bands, when you straighten that out and you stretch the band, 
that's when that knee joint is locked in that position where it's probably the strongest, that's where the band's the hardest, and then when you come down, the band eases off when you go through that vulnerable point. So really good, if you're rehabbing a painful patellofemoral joint through injury or swelling or whatever the post-surgical, whatever the problem is, and you're wanting to get back that knee extension mechanism, that quadriceps strength into that position, maybe you want to get better at kicking, maybe you just need to be stronger at that pushing forward movement, maybe you just want bigger quads and you're stuck at home in lockdown. Whatever the situation is, the band is a really cheap, easy way of doing your leg extension, which will complement your squats and your single leg step downs, your physio lunges, all the other things you're doing at home that involve the quadriceps and the glutes, okay? So there's your little hack for you today. Remember, don't be afraid of knee extension. It is one of those missed things that a lot of people seem to have forgotten, but it's really good for your quads, really good for your strength here, complements everything else, but go easy. See you next time.